Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm checking out a two-in-one pedal from Wonder Effects. It's the Wonder Wall, and it's packed with fuzz, overdrive, and distortion, and you could stack them in any combination. So let's check it out. The Wonder Wall is the first dual pedal from Wonder Effects, combining classic muff-style fuzz with a brand new Wonderbolt distortion. Each analog effect includes basic volume, tone, and gain, plus extra options like clipping, which can help these two siblings get along. Channel 1 on the right is Wonder's favorite blend of Ram's Head and Russian, and includes three modes, taking you from classic scoop to diode free for an uninhibited blast of low end for your doomier needs. Channel 2 on the left springboards off the original Wonder Drive with the Wonderbolt distortion, and it offers a wide variety of tonal and clipping options, which sound great on their own or when stacked. A switchable boost next to the level knob helps widen the scope of this pedal, taking you from boost to drive all the way to fuzzier textures, which is helpful when placing the Wonder Bolt before or after the muff side. Like all Wonder Effects, the Wonder Wall is handmade one at a time in Michigan, and you can find them all at wondereffects.com. Let's just jump right into channel two on the left and dial in some classic Wonder Drive sounds. So I have the high frequency boost in the up position, so we're not boosting all that. And the clipping selection is in the minus position, so we're actually using LED and silicon diodes here. <laughs> So right about here, we're kind of leaving overdrive and really entering distortion. You could hear that clipping, really wanting to clamp down on the notes. Uh, and you could just push this to extremes by going to the high boost, which is that little toggle next to the volume knob. <laughs> So that switch really just lifted the blanket on that classic Wonder Drive circuit. So let's back things off again and get a lower gain sound, but a lot more clarity. So this is a great setting for single coil chime and just kind of getting a more dynamic overdrive sound. <laughs> And notice that the tone is all the way up and that's kind of how they suggest starting off. So that being said, let's back off a little bit on the high end and then just blast into op amp, which is actually taking the uh, LED and the silicon diodes out of the picture. So you get a huge bump of frequencies and gain and output as well. <laughs>
So between that diode lift and the high boost switch, you have a lot of different combinations to work with. And you know, it just really adapts to any instrument and also helps uh, match with the fuzz circuit, which we're gonna check out now. So let's just try it on its own and then stack it with some Wonderbolt distortion. <laughs> That kind of gives you a nice fat round bottom end, but a lot of the times it kind of gets lost in the mix and you're kind of just hearing a lot of fizz on the top end. So let's go to that middle selection, which is gonna bring up the mids. And also I'm gonna play a little bit more with the tone control, which is that classic uh, Big Muff tone sweep where you hear a lot more bass when you roll it back and you hear more treble and less bass when you increase it. So it sings a lot more when you open up the mid-range and the tone control, but it's still a very, you know, fat sounding muff and we haven't even stacked anything yet. So you could actually, uh, you know, put the drive before it to add more gain or put the drive or distortion after it and add more volume to this fuzz. <laughs> So that's just a great example of how just changing the stacking order, not even touching the settings, really produces a different result. You notice it was kind of spongy, it really changed the attack uh, and the sag when we had the uh, Wonder Bolt going into the fuzz because we're just saturating that input stage. Now let's try some other settings and there's one last uh, setting on the muff side I haven't shown you and that's removing the diodes just like we did in the Wonder Bolt. So it lets a lot of bass through and you know this is a setting that you kind of really want to just uh, you know fine tune and not overdo it with the gain.
All right, so let's start off with channel two this time and you know just see what happens when we change the order and the different uh, clipping sections. I'm just gonna really see what setting sounds best. I don't really know where I'm gonna go from here. So I'm gonna start off with medium gain and I have the clipping engaged on the channel two and I'm also using that high boost which is gonna really open up the uh, you know scope of things with these humbuckers. <laughs> So in that case, removing the diodes really is kind of my preferred sound with this setup here. It just adds a little bit more mid-range and uh, it kind of takes away some of the crispiness on the top end. So that's kind of my starting point. Now let's engage some muff fuzz and just see where we end up in regards to the order of the effects and the EQ of the muff. All right, so I got there in the end. I kind of ended up uh, choosing channel one into channel two, which of course is the muff into the Wonderbolt. And that really preserved the feel of the muff. It didn't oversaturate it. And it was just a really nice combination with this darker sounding guitar. So as you can tell, the Wonderwall is a really fun pedal to play with and you have a wide range and you can check it out at wondereffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for another Andy demo.